Hi everyone, this is Tracy. I'm back again for another scrapbooking haul. So I hope you enjoy it. Um, I went to uh, Michael's and I got a couple packages in the mail just now and I went to Archivers. So let's get started. Um, first of all, I got this paper doll cane company pack and it is gorgeous. I love it. It's so pretty and distressed, but you got brighter colors than what um, kind of basic grayish, but it's summery basic gray. So, and I love this page. If you can see it real clear, it's got uh, vines and flowers, and this one is probably one of my favorites with the heart, the yellows, the pinks. The other thing I like, if you look close, it's die cut shape. Very pretty. It's almost top note die cut shape. So, but I love it. Can't wait to start cutting in. I also got a couple of chipboard albums that everybody's been getting. Scallop Square and Scallop Circle. So, can't wait to start using those. Now from Archivers, I didn't get a whole lot at Archivers, but I did get some things. I'm involved in a kit swap, and um, my partner chose the Eva Collection by Basic Gray. So I got her a set of chipboard thickers, and I got myself a set, then I got green. And I got this in their $1.99 area. It's the Whimsy um, Journaling Pack. And then I got three of these basic gray rub-ons. And these were also in a $1.99 area. Um, I was wondering if any one of you knows if you can color those flower shapes and how I would do it. If I could use my Glimmer Mist and a paintbrush, uh, my Copic or Copic markers, or colored watercolor pencils. So again, if somebody out there knows how to do that, please let me know. I also got um, some Glimmer Mist. Cranberry, or I'm sorry, this is Black Cherry and Cranberry Zing. And yes, if you watch any of my haul videos, usually you will see a bottle or two of Glimmer Mist. And then I just got some cardstock, uh, again, for her swap, and I'm doing page kits. So this will go in a couple of my page kits. I also got... Couple of stamps by Hero Arts, and this is the soft leaf, and this is the soft stone, and these are dye inks by Hero Arts. Then I got some art flowers, Hero Arts, and just the cream, and these are textured flowers, so I thought I could glimmer miss those. And then some basic gray brad, and some more flowers, and these are by. Basil, and uh, these will go great uh, in one of my page kits, actually my Ambrosia page kit that I'm putting together. So, And then by Hero Arts, I got these um, flowers, and these are actually kind of cute. Let me take a couple out. These are like printed flowers. They almost remind me of the Prima collage. Here's one. Let me move this so you can see them better. And this one is really cute. It looks almost like a dollar bill was stamped on it. But take a look. And they do. They, they just remind me of collages. And I think I can use those in a couple of my page kits. I also got... And I've gotten these before, and I've really fallen in love with them. Um, some of the sponge daubers. 
and they're really, really nice. They're easy to use. And I got three sets of those. So that was my haul there at uh, Archivers. Not too bad. Um, then, like I said, the postman sent me a package. So I got two peas in a bucket order, and I've been waiting on this order for quite a while. So I will get to that. Let me open the box. And of course, two peas in a bucket always gives you the peanuts. So I'm going to have peanuts everywhere. But that's okay. I'll clean it up later. I got a lot of Lime Ricky stuff because, again, I have some Lime Ricky paper that I'm 12 by 12 paper. I'm going to make my page kits. So, this is a Lime Ricky paper, paper pad. Very pretty colors. And then I got just this miniature Essentials um, Flowers by Prima. And these are number nine. And I thought that some of this green and yellow would go great. Maybe some of the Brighter pinks or blues will go great with the Lime Ricky. And I got chipboard stickers for Lime Ricky. And then this is Heidi Swap's Clear Pages. And I thought this would be cute to put in an acrylic album or something. And then I got the E-Line Flowers in yellow and white. And a couple Prima stamps. Um... These are both frames, and I cannot remember who got a bunch of Prima stamps, but this is the reason why. Jade at Jaded Studios. She's the reason why I got those. So I also got some more ink pads. Uh, Ranger, Adirondack, Lights, Aqua. This is their dye. Hazelnut in the brights, that's a dye, and Hero Arts, chalk ink, and grass. Um, and I also got Hero Arts Cling Stamp. This would have been great to use for my tags, uh, for the tag swap. I got Brad's. Um, this is their... Sugar Rush Glaze Brads and Regular Brads. I got the Sugar Rush Writer's Block. And of course, then I had to get the Sugar Rush Paper Pad. Very pretty. Sorry if I'm going too fast, but I'm about ready to run out of time. So, uh, Sugar Rush Stamps, and this is their grape leaf stamp. Now this came free. This is Little One's Metal by KI Memories Metal Stickers. This came free. This is a basic gray clear stamp. And then I got the stitched brads uh, in the Sugar Rush. And then I got just some loose paper. Um... these real quick. This is all Ambrosia. Ambrosia Alphabet. And this is Lime Ricky. To go with that paper pad I picked up. And this is the chipboard stickers and the alphas. This is Bittersweet to complete page kit that I have of Bittersweet. Then real quick, I'm in a tag swap. And this is my tag for the tag swap. It's Lovebirds. Um, basically, I colored the whole thing with Tattered Rose, um, Distress Inks, used one lipstick and fire brick, stamped it with a heart stamp, cut out this birdcage, propped it up a little bit, glued it, 
and then added the two lovebirds. And then finished off the back of the tag with Tattered Rose. So I hope you like it. Please leave a comment. Please rate. Tell me what you think. Oh, and I glimmer misted the whole tag too. So it's real shimmery. Tell me what you think. Thanks. Bye.